this month. This had better be... Quit following me. The wind rises. Whoa, so this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog, even if it's hiding in Denshu Kaku. Ito, it's just a myth. Whoa, compadre! And Paimon! <laughs> you finally made it! Oh man, have I missed you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hey, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. How have you been? Pretty good. So how did you end up hanging around with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour now? Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. This is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Aradaki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. Rockin' for Life? What do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Huh? What, you never heard of Bullchucker rock before? Moo, moo, moo! Uh, and, uh. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Minnie Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some lavender melon rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. <laughs> Just a local legend I heard about. Apparently there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Uh, a tragedy, to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakedanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Uh, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But, and not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. No, the story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Rockin' and rollin' to the rescue! A king among canines! Woo! <laughs> There'll always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. In Rito, I was actually there while the war was going on. It inspired me to write a song about it.
I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh yeah, I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes, they weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much Mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Uh, you know, the spirit of, uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches, <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Huh. By that definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those chumps are out, and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? I have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki Gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Isn't that right? Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki Gang. I got connections, all right? Even the Tri Commission listens to what I have to say. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. You can doubt it all you want, Mini Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right, I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. Uh, fines? Huh? No! Uh, I meant, I mean, the uh, uh, taxes. <laughs> yeah. But that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend Ayato. Oh, yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. In fact, they got a saying now Ayato of the South. Ito of the North. <laughs> That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. Did... Did you make that saying up? Then there's the Fox Lady, VIP customer of Yukio's ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenchukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. During the Drum Along Festival, the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Wow, look at you! Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made shogun by the next time we see you! And then Paimon will have to call you Almighty Bullchucker! Um, well... I'll admit, I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both go thank him later. Wait, you know Goro? Yup. I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters, but I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. You've, uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? Miss Hina? So you... Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drum Along Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like, uh, here, for example. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter, asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. 
She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. I was like, what? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? <sighs> that was close. Paimon's with you now, but what did you think general meant? What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? That's called a captain. Really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> All right. Good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. <laughs> you guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet, but uh, the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. You can play whatever music you like. If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Wanna give it a try? Ito's gone, otherwise Paimon would never hear the end of it. Let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. She's out delivering invitations right now. Yep, that's the Arataki gang for ya. Everyone else goofs around while Shinobu gets things done. We should help out. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Oh, I mean, are you sure? That uh, would be extremely useful. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. No problem. We're happy to help. So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating, was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Uh, actually, uh, give me a second. I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it'll all be clearer. Oh! Also, one other tidbit to share with you, Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final day of the event. Ugh, typical bull chucker always has to be the center of attention. Oh, Paimon would steal the show for sure! No one would give Ito a second look after that! Pretty sure he'd yell out, Paimon's so rock and roll it hurts! And then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out! <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon, but that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. Ah, oh, Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. <sighs> Quit following me. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Whoa, Shinobu and Heizo! What a surprise! 
surprise! <laughs> this truly is a pleasant surprise. Although, not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. Eh, it's called intuition. Names pop into my head at relevant moments, just the way my mind works. Paimon sure wasn't expecting Heizo to be the first one to show up. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. If I were Kujo Sar, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off too? All that stomping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy! Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. What message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. Eh, maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, and so did some of Ito's former cellmates. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Uh, maybe just give Boss the melons and don't mention that part? Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. Uh, aren't you gonna stay for the event? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Eesh, being a detective sounds busy. I got you running around all over the place. Oh wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Ah, the dog, yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. What's wrong? From the look on your face, You've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me, too. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon! Seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Well, I'd better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. In that case, guess it's time for us to get to work, too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Mr. Dvorak, we'll get on it right away! Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the jam zone. <laughs> <laughs>